Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So second day Funko STCC reveals. Let's get right into them. Uh, first one is the Michelangelo Ninja Turtles with surfboard and shorts. Uh, surfboard says Cowabunga has a little Comic Con logo, and uh, he's got these shorts on. And what are the what's the images on the shorts? And they have pizzas. They have little pizzas on the shorts. This is adorable, all right? So right out the gate, the reveals, I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm down, I'm one for one so far. Um, big, big fan of Ninja Turtles. If you follow this channel, you know, well, right here, you, you, you know. Um, uh, but, um, uh, and this one is, is, I don't know if this is from anything specific or this is just kind of like a spirit piece, uh, but uh, it's great. He's got his little surfboard. It's Michelangelo. He's the perfect dude for this. And uh, I think they, this is the first Ninja Turtle figure that they've made in a long time. That, you know, if you've, if you've been keeping up, Funko released uh, in, its, uh, in its initial release, released the Ninja Turtles. And um, I don't think they've done anything other than some of the ancillary characters and the villains, Casey Jones, things like that. This is the first one in a long, long time. So Funko won me over, day two, one out of one. Um, let's keep going here. Um, Samurai Jack Scaramouche. Um, I vaguely remember this guy. I was into Samurai Jack uh, for a stint. He's crazy looking. Um, he's actually really cool though. I mean, he's got a cool sculpt. He's got this sort of like large chin and, uh, and the grin. Um, and this is gonna be Toy Tokyo. So, um, Toy Tokyo is my least favorite of all the exclusive runs, uh, m meaning because they're the hardest to get, typically. Um, you know, you have shared exclusives for Hot Topic, you have uh, GameStop, you have uh, Box Launch, uh, and, and those are gettable. Toy Tokyo is always like a thing where I... I I always miss it, or if I do want it, I have to get it on the aftermarket, and I typically have to get it in some kind of bundle. Um, so uh, I do want this. I do have the other Samurai Jack, the initial one that they did, uh, the two-pack, um, but um, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I'm going to be able to get it. Um, so, uh, yeah, keep on going down the line here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so they got some Masters of the Universe stuff. I'm... I'm I'm a, a Masters of the Universe addict. Um, this is this does not bode well for my wallet. Uh, actually, so far I'm I'm in Michelangelo. Um, I, I'm in for the for, for the for the samurai uh, for the samurai Jack Scaramouche. Uh, but now this one, I mean, I got to be in for this too. Uh, I got them all so far, and oh, this is Toy Tokyo. So that's that's great. So. It looks like I'm going to be buying some kind of Toy Tokyo bundle or something. I, I already know that's going to happen. Anyway, it's fine. Let's just keep on going. For, forget the how. Let's get into the, the what. And the what is, uh, the first guy we got is Blast Attack here. Blast Attack looks awesome. He's got his his golden armor. He's got his face with the with the teeth. He's got, he's got a great expression on his face, too. Um... And uh, once they get into guys like, <clears throat> excuse me, once they get into guys like uh, 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 Blast Attack, then you know that they're sort of, now, now they're, exp that's how you know the line is doing well, because Blast Attack, he's not, he's not top tier. I mean, he's, you're getting into deep Masters of the Universe at that point, um, but he looks great. Um, but this one right here, man, this is the coup de grace, Clawful. Love me some Clawful. Loved this figure when I was a kid. Loved all the incarnations of him, just there's just something about him with the giant claw and the red and the teeth and uh, the little warts that he's got. Man, and this is Toy Tokyo. So I'm, I'm, I'm in deep already. I mean, that's just from uh, today's reveals. You got, uh, I, th that's four. Um, so, and then you have some of the soda ones. Uh, looks like you got a, a Mossman soda and a Trap Jaw soda. You know what? I, I I do like the soda Master of the Universe figures, but I'm I'm terrified to get into these because uh, the the completest in me is just going to start cleaning up and, and and getting all the different sodas. So, um, but they are cool. But definitely the Blast Attack, definitely the Clawful. Moving on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. So we got 
Invader Zimzim holding Mini Moose. Um, it has been ages since I saw Invader Zim. Um, I used to have the uh, little stacked pig uh, Funko that they have, and I still have in my glow in the dark case. Or do I still have them? Thought, thought I had a girl. But um, I, 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 I'm a fan of Invader Zim. I don't know if I'll go in on this. He's cute. I mean, uh, Zim Zim holding Mini Moose. Dude, I, 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 my brain is fried today. I don't even remember what this Mini Moose is from. Uh, but it's okay. I don't love this figure. Um, this one's an easy pass for me. Uh, so let's keep on going. Um, next we have Alien, uh, Re Okay, so the Alien is Kevin. So this is another one of these sort of under the radar, low key, trying to create a new line lines. Like it's like the Venomized figures and the zombie Marvel figures. It's like, let's take this character, mix them with this peanut butter and make Reese's pieces. Uh, I, 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 I am, I, I'm cautious of these, of, of, of these lines only because they, I don't know, they're a little cash in ish to me. Um, he is adorable, but I, I can, I already know that they're going to start making aliens as everything. Aliens as Toy Story, aliens as Ratatouille, aliens as whatever. Um, so, uh, while this is cool and I do love Toy Story and I love up, I'm probably going to pass on this. Next, we have uh, Pop Disney Emperor's New Groove, Yizma as Cat. Um, so it's been a while. I think I saw Emperor's New Groove when it came out. And so that's a long time ago. Um, I think this is the villain. I believe this is the villain or the villain transformed or something. It's it's I, I, I've seen it once in my life and it's too long to remember. But um, uh, I mean, it's a kitten holding what looks like a flask. Um, I think that's a flask. But uh, easy pass for me. Let's keep on going. Um, looks like we have a Nightmare Before Christmas soda. Tim Burns and Nightmare Before Christmas, the clown with tearaway face. So, okay, so it's the, it's the tearaway face clown from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, okay, I mean, you know how I feel about soda, but if you're a soda aficionado, go ahead and grab this. Next, we have Office Pops. Uh, can never get enough Office Pops. They 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 push. So this looks like uh, 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 a Ray The Next year, he really stepped things up. Who has put a number seven plastic in a number four bin? A year after that, Recyclops really began to take shape. Recyclops will drown you in your overwatered um. lawn. It looks like another Dwight variation. Um, man, they really, they really are just getting, uh, just trying to squeeze this, uh, uh, this, this office stuff for all it's worth. Um, I don't know. For me, I think it's past the, por the the core characters. I don't know how deep you have to go, but if you're into this, go nuts. Um, moving down the line here. Okay, so few figures here so it looks like we have a uh, black lightning um from the tv show it looks like and this looks like it is limited to three thousand pieces so that's our um <clears throat> um second i think the first limited was the uh, the toucan this is the the, the second limited on, on the list three thousand pieces which usually means also that it's not shared this is probably just going to be a true sdcc thing uh but if you're a fan of black lightning um yeah go ahead and get it looks Great. I mean, he's got the lightning. I don't know if it's glow in the dark. Doesn't look like it is. Probably should be or have glow in the dark elements, but uh, looks cool. Um, 3,000 pieces. Next is Cyborg Superman. Um, so, wow, this one takes me back. This is, uh, this, I, I remember this comic when I was a kid. They took Superman and they split him into like a cyborg and uh, um I forgot what else, sort of like a, a villainous Superman. I only remember the cyborg, really. No, actually, I remember there was one, and then there was another Superman that kind of looked, he was like a youngish Superman, kind of looked like Robin. Um, and I think one of them was, no, I forgot. But Cyborg Superman, um, he's always had a cool look, uh, but I'm just not into this uh, as much. Not, I'm not a wild with DC stuff. I mean, other than Batman. I know a lot of people say that. But, um, but yeah. Uh, Cyborg Superman, uh, if you want him, he's here. 
Next is Ra's al Ghul. This guy looks cool. I mean, he's, uh, so you got Ra's al Ghul, he's holding his hand up, and then the next hand, he's got the sword, the, the scimitar, and he's got the little, I don't know what you call this mustache that does this, um, uh, but uh, he looks great. He's got the little white in, in the back. He's got his, his eyes, looks like he hasn't slept in a while, and they're kind of like at half mast. Um, I definitely will be getting a Ra's al Ghul. Um, and I like that it's not, it's not, no, it's not the movie version. It looks like it's the comic book version. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in the comic book versions for Funkos, um, anyway. But, um, although Liam Neeson, Ra's al Ghul is not bad. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, so let's keep going. Okay, so this is, this is one that I was on the fence about, but I think I might dive in. This is the Batman and Robin, Mr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze, Arnold, uh, um, I mean, this movie is hokey, no doubt, no question. No one's questioning that this is a hokey film. But if you grew up around the time I grew up, there is something about this era that it's, it's, it's attached to us. And as a result, I kind of want this Mr. Freeze. I, I, it's, it's, it's Arnold Mr. Freeze. Um, and it looks cool. And it says glitter on it. So it's a glittery Mr. Freeze. We killed the dinosaurs, the Ice Age. Um, it's cool. I mean, I'm going to get it. That's not an indictment on the movie. The movie is whatever, but I'm going to get it. So how many is that? I, I lost count. Let's just keep going. Uh, I think this is the last one. So Sith Jet Trooper. Um, wow, what a what a, what a an ending. Um, yeah, no interest in this. Uh, I, I'm into Star Wars... I, I, I used to be a much bigger Star Wars fan. I, I touch the surface now. I, I get my Boba Fetts, my Mandalorians, my Baby Yodas. Every now and then I get something Vader, but uh, it's just it's it's just too much for me. But um, Sith Red Sith, Sith Jet Trooper. If you dig him, looks like he's kind of floating. He's doing a little floaty float, and uh, yeah, he's got his blaster rifle. So that's. Um, that's it. Um, uh, looks like, yeah, no, no word yet on where these are going to be shared. We'll, we'll let you know as soon as they are, but, um, uh, pretty good reveal so far. I'm, you know what? I'm going to count these. I'm in for one, two, three, four, five, six, six just today. And there was one yesterday. So seven in total. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to get to the point where it's going to hurt, but, uh, we'll see. Hopefully it, it, uh, it, it, hopefully we have some more reveals and, uh, and, and they, they really give us a run for our money. Cause, um, um, cause yeah, Funko needs a win. <laughs> they need some wins. Uh, but that's it. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, and uh, uh, hopefully, you know, as soon as we get some more reveals, we, we, we post them as soon as possible, and, uh, uh, and yeah, have a good day. See you next time. Bye.